Hey y'all, Joe out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. This is Tuesday, June 2nd. Um, come out here on this beautiful day to finish up my solar panel racks and uh, get the solar panels mount mounted in them. Uh, see how this is going to work out and give y'all more uh, a uh, better idea of how I'm putting this together and I've had a few questions and comments about them <laughs> the uh, I would love to have a pole mounted system you know with all the poles and super struts and all the metal and everything but you know what this is going to be less than a hundred dollars and it's going to hold all the panels. It's going to do a fine job. It might not be the prettiest thing in the world. Um, or the most professional looking thing in the world. I'm doing it on my own. <laughs> but it's going to serve its purpose. A lot of this stuff was material I already had. So, again, it's less than $100. And when you're trying to do things on a budget, that's important. I don't... You know, I'm not one of these channels that depends on donations for everything. And then people send me stuff. And then I got to get money donated so I can pay for people to come out here and do all the work. And I can, you know, at the end of the day, break out a video camera and say, all right, this is what I got accomplished today. You know, I can't afford that kind of stuff. I'm, uh, trying to do it all on my own and do it cheaper you know what I can afford and at my own pace so this is how I'm gonna get it done I'll uh, set the camera up now and start screwing some things you know some braces into place that'll get me by but this is very strong and my wind you can see maybe how the trees are blowing the wind comes from the west this is facing the south, <laughs> so uh, it's pretty close to south. It's facing southwest, but the wind's not going to be a factor. The wind's not going to blow it over. Uh, if you remember, I had two 100-watt panels in a uh, standing frame that I built, and the wind never blew them out. So this being buried in the ground, I can't see the wind doing too much. But speaking of wind feels good let me uh let me get to work here this is going to be a simple brace here to just to brace the bottom end of these panels and I'm not worried about them going anywhere that's not going to be a problem. But this will help if it happens to get some snow on them at some point. This is all treated lumber, by the way.
Well, in the interest of full disclosure, <laughs> you notice when I try to put that first panel up there, it doesn't fit. And I'm going to tell you why. The panels are 65 inches. I made these boards, this right here of the frame, 65 inches. I did not account for the inch and a half there or the inch and a half on the bottom. So, I'm three inches short. I have no material out here. So I have to figure out a way to make work what I have. And I think I did. Gail's on her way out here, so she'll be able to help me. And what I'm going to wind up doing is putting a 2 before. I brought 2 before's with me for this part going from here across so that those middle ones will rest on that 2 before. And same on this side. And what will happen is I'm going to take off that top frame, that top 2 before running across there. I'm going to take that off, lay the panels against it, let them hang out over it, uh, what would be an inch and a half uh, hanging out the top. Still be completely secured, because they'll be screwed down to those two before runners down there, and I'll run a one by across the very top that I can screw into. You know, I'll put it on the outside of the two before is running up and down and thinking about it I thought that might not be that bad of an idea anyway because those boards are going to shrink and contract and expand and that will leave room at the top they won't be you know squeezed in so it may actually work out a little bit better for me I will when Gail gets here, I'll start putting it together a different way and show you how it works out. But yes, I do make mistakes. Funny. But we'll fix it with what I got on hand. That's what we got to do. Because I want those panels up there before I leave. That's the plan. What I'm going to do is run a 2 before across here. Okay. So that everything rests on it. I'm going to take this off yeah. and just lay the solar panels in here. It's easy peasy. So it's not going to be a top part? No, I'll make something for the top. It doesn't have to be a top part. And what I explained in the video was these things will shrink and contract and expand as the weather does. This may be better because they're not going to be locked in. I'm making them some Nest up in there too. Yep. Alright, first thing. Slide that one in there and see if it fits? Yeah. 
All right, let's do it. I just forgot that one, that one measurement. All right, let's make some electricity. Yeah. That's all right, it's warm. They don't even stick that far out, you know that? No. No, I think it looks fine. Yeah. There's that crooked one there. Yeah, because look. Yeah. But you know what? Who cares? Right. That one's a little off too up there. Yeah. But. It'll all be fixed. Doesn't make any difference. It's still. There they are. Yeah, we better put these up though because. Alright. You can see I got finished. It is 2 o'clock. And I'm cleaned up, getting ready to head back to Wheeling. There's rumors going around and a lot of police presence. They said uh, people are being bussed in from Columbus and Cleveland for rioting tonight. So I'm going to head back in and uh, man the port. <laughs> but uh, Gail's already left. But we'll see how it's going. But there's my solar panels. There's my homemade rack. Even though I screwed up. Now I will tell you, Sunday, after we put all that together, I went home and spent all day yesterday patting myself on the back about how good I was putting that together. And only to find out this morning when I got here I screwed up. But it's fixed. I mean, working with what I had and figure out a way to make it work. Now comes the fun part. Bringing all the parts out and getting it all set up and run to the cabin. 
but that was the hard part so that's over with you can see I got a little tweaking to do on uh, the bent uh, the warped Lowe's lumber but I'm happy and look at the Sun I mean it's two o'clock that's perfect I could not ask for a better angle uh, for collecting the Sun and I'll collect it till about six o'clock so it's gonna be perfect but I'm gonna head back in this is Joe out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres uh, remember to like share comment do all that good stuff and uh, give me a thumbs up and I'm telling you I, I mentioned in a video earlier this feeling of urgency this sense of urgency to get things done so things gonna be hopping out here at the cabin you need to subscribe if you aren't we're gonna be doing a lot of things but I'm out